Now, it might be because I'm a down-to-earth kind of guy. And I'm a farmer. I, I, I have some education. But uh, it just don't make sense to me why, can't, why they can't call doctors what they really are. Uh, a classic one was on the Archie Bunker show. He had to take Edith to the doctor, and uh, he said, yeah, I got to take her to the groinecologist. <laughs> he didn't say gynecologist. He said groinecologist. Well, it's more appropriate, wouldn't you say? Now, I have one. Uh, if you got hemorrhoids, since I've gotten from all the dealerships, <laughs> Since I quit my last dealership, <laughs> implement dealerships. Anyway, uh, say if you got hemorrhoids, you go to your gastroenterologist. Why do they call them astronauts? <laughs> you say I'll be talking with Emil. Uh, I got, I gotta go to my astronaut. I got asteroids. <laughs> Believe me, they feel like that too. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all these big names for doctors. Nobody knows who they should go to. Call them what they are. An astronaut, a gynecologist. And if you got any more, comment me and let me know. I'm trying to think of some more good ones. <laughs> anyway, I think they're going good here. Get free rental, uh, self-propelled coin chopper. John Deere. And uh, I'm going to let him use it too. We're going to get our samples for and It's for free. Well, well I'll put a few on it. Of course, I take care of our equipment. And uh, I let him drive it. He's good. Anyway, uh, if you can think of any more appropriate names for specialist doctors, I'd like to hear him. I think gynecologist is good. An astronaut is good. Because <laughs> when you get asteroids, you need an astronaut. <laughs>